James Sam, thank you. Thank you. So we're definitely due for another big one today. Need a quality forward entry moment. The rolling contest is uh, Joel Hambling, Hugh McCluggage. The Lions are all set up. They've won their last three, I think. Short ball to McStay. And now finds Lions again. Who gets a bit of movement inside 50? Hipwood! Oh, couldn't take it. Front and centre. Cameron. Neil! Lockie Neil! Oh, geez, he started well again. Hipwood. Front and centre was Eagles. Neil again off the deck. Missed. Matera off the deck. McStay's handball. Dangerous. And now Harris Andrews gives a free kick away. Oh, gee, that's a poor kick. That's a defender's kick right there. Neil trying to get himself involved as well again. With it and Giro, I think it was. In the end, Gardner's trying to pick it up. Nobody can. And Mundy goes off the deck and puts through Frio's first. Ends up going forward to Witherden. Now Zorko towards McCluggage. Handball back in ball to Hipwood. Back to McCluggage. Back to Hipwood. Still has plenty of room to manoeuvre. And inside 50 finds Rayner. So a decent kick it will take from here. Cam Rayner, we know he's got the power in his shoe. And it lines up and is through the big sticks. He can keep going. He's a defender, but he wants to go it alone. Hipwood, the shot at goal is offline. Just tough angle. Hutto reckons pass it. Gary agrees. Wyatt will prove them both wrong with a boo. Nah! Ah, oh, he's missed. <laughs> Definitely needed that. Get him! Good smother from McCluggage. Wyatt gets it and takes the stoppage. Drop. He's never getting dropped. Never. Slapped away, and Lyons with a flying shot at goal is missed. Jeez, just has to get it in the air. Created the contest, though. That's what we love from him. This bloke saw off three dudes. He saw off three. Loving what we've been doing so far, everyone. I've been loving it. And right now, we're in a pretty good spot. We've started well. It's a hot start, a really hot start. And at the moment, it's just a three-point lead. So, it's just about the finishing. Finishing in front of goal. It was a bad, a good bad quarter. Because we still have the lead. I love that. Let's go. Anyway, Lyons got it. McCluggage again. It's out wide. McStay! Oh, he just got up and didn't get down. Five. Tackle. Shot at goal. A flying by Matera. An opportunity for the Dockers. This guy's good. They love him. Ah, two on one. Oh, no. In the end, it's Alex Pierce. Who's been swung into the forward line. And he's put through another for the Dockers. Goes short to Hipwood. Lovely. Absolutely lovely, that pass. Give it back to him. Gives it to Neil. Sees off one. Nice little handball. Oh, geez, the Dockers fans absolutely fired up at the moment. Robertson, still yearly yet to get into the game in his debut. Goes forward to Darcy. Rainer pushing back hard. Two on one. McStay. Geez, good spoil as well from Berry. McCarthy around the corner offline. Witherden. Oh, the handball. Disgraceful. And it's Conker. Of all people who's put it through. And Marcus Adams gives a free kick away. Cam McCarthy with an opportunity now. This would put the Dockers 17 points ahead and all three goals of the second term. He's got it. Cam McCarthy excited there. Gotta get it out of there. Oh, geez, poor handball. Neil picks it up towards Hipwood. It's handball missed. Now inside the 50. Berry, front and front position. Get him. Oh, Fremantle, numbers streaming forward. Oh, that's a bad miss. Inside the 50. Oh, jeez, they had the numbers. The Dockers, Mundy's kick smothered. Eagles can't get it out of there, and he's lucky enough to get a free kick. He's in a good position. He's handball good to Christensen. Could give it back to Adams. Back to Christensen. Driving shot towards goal. Gardner in the forward line. He can't take it either. And now he gets away from one. Has to just throw it out of there before he's run down. Goes short towards Lincoln McCarthy. 
Jeez, this is going to be a tough kick. He's a long way from home. I don't think he's got anything enough on it. And that'll be half time. Out of the middle. Here's Neil. Has a bounce. Here's Neil. Runs to 40. Lines up. What a start. This is what I want from this man. I want more from him. Bit of pressure. Here's Zach Bailey. Getting it out towards Steph Martin. And he puts the pressure on with the tackle. Not good enough. McStay off the deck. Hands up with Bailey. Handball to Lyons. He can line up from 49 and pump through another. Okay. And so Berry dominating the game right now. She's Walters. In the end, Matera on the left pumps it through. Terrible turnover. Oh, good work from Lockie Neal. Handball to Hipwood. Handball to Charlie Cameron. No, it wasn't. It might have been Zorko instead. In the end, McCluggage. Hipwood. The pressure's everywhere. Oh, Lester. Zorko. Like, it's just chaotic. The speed of the game has changed in Frio's favour. A flying shot at goal. Oh, the Monfries esque bounce at right angles as Matera picks it up. Get Minson off the ground. Sends it along the wing. Lyons is down there. Can he just grab it on the bounce? He can and keeps it alive. Did a brilliant bit of work there. As Zorko over the top. Or oh, Christensen. Gets it to McCarthy. Goes wide. Cameron runs in and pumps it through. Yes. Walters. McCarthy. Harris Andrews. Gets up. Can't take it. Pierce off the deck. Misses. McStay. Oh, terrible again. And Pierce snaps a goal. It just got sent straight back over my head. Oh, mark it. Matty Eagles had to. Fremantle's forward pressure been elite today. And the ball use hasn't been great from my point of view. Real opportunity for the Dockers here. Oh, tries to go across goal, Giro. Might not have been the wisest decision. Bailey's run down. Get another ball up. There's Lockie Neal. The boss. Terrena. Chop ball Gardner. Can't mark. Oh, three-quarter time. Now, I know that all of the people in the chat are telling me to kick the ball. You don't just yell kick the ball when you're at the footy. That is terrible. We just got to clean the ball to yourself. I like the handball game. You can see the kick to handball ratio this game. This is actually probably the highest handball game we've had so far. We have handballed it more than we have kicked it. Hockey Neal. Still get him into the game more. At the moment, Hipwood's had nine. He's been important. Three goals apiece that term. The Dockers by 21 points. Steph Martin out of the guts. Charlie Cameron down there with Wyatt. Good tackle. As they go across the middle. Zach Bailey with some pressure in the middle. Wyatt's handball to Lincoln. McCarthy can run forward. Gardiner! He's pushed forward. In what is a bizarre coaching move. But he's put through the first of the last. Oh, geez, dangerous kick. Finds Adams. Thumps it forward. Got to create a contest here. Oh, McCarthy. Archie. Gardiner has popped up and kicked two in the final term. Here come the Lions. Darcy out of there. Lions forward. Here's Wyatt. Oh, he got up there. Couldn't take it. Lions gets it forward. McCarthy just bring it to deck. And he does. He's got some pace. They've got the numbers for you. But in the end. Oh. McCluggage. Run. And he puts. Oh, he's missed. He's missed. Eight point ball game. Lockie Neal picks it up. And he bursts away with pace. Has a couple of bounces. Can send it forward. Gee, that's a good kick. Just goes out of bounds. Jeez, it's pressure at the moment. 20 minutes gone. The final term. This will be turned over. McCluggage marks. Goes short to Zorko. That's not a mark. It bounced. Oh, Fife. Sends it forward. Harris Andrews. 
can't spoil it. With it and run down, and Pierce kicks the goal. Major disappointment. Oh, got up high, Gardiner. Off the deck, McCarthy. Do we have enough time? 25 gone, final term. Oh, it's tough. Zorko forward. Cameron! Ah. Uh, can't mark. Oh, I've got to mark that, Archie. Wyatt! Pick it up, Wyatt! Come on, Wyatt. Do something! Oh, he definitely needs a spell. In the knee fall. Oh, that's a shocking kick. Daniel from Seven Sport, what do you think went wrong in the game? It was a very even contest throughout. Obviously, the second term wasn't great for us. Um, we let them kick a couple late um, and just get away to a little bit of a lead, which they were able to maintain for majority of uh, the game. I think sometimes we were just bombing it forward a little bit too much. Um, we did play a bit more of a higher handball game today as well. Um, but I think it was, um, yeah, we found out a few things about our side today. Going down by seven points in Perth, do you think the trip over had an impact? Uh, it's Yeah, it can be difficult on the road. Like we, we have we have lost a couple of away games this year. Obviously, the, the game in Adelaide, we lost to the Crows. Um, and now going down to the Dockers here in Perth. Um, look, I'd, I'd like to think we're a side that travels well, but, um, you know, they're a side that's obviously much better at home than they are away. So um, it can be, you know, you're almost playing two different Fremantle sides depending on where you're playing them. So um, they were very good today. Take nothing away from them. You guys continued to handball consistently and turn the ball over a lot. Would you consider changing tactics for the next game? We might tone it down a little bit, but we, we really liked how we opened up the game using it. Um, we are able to get a lot of our players out into space and it, and it really... Um, created a lot more chances forward. Uh, we did maybe overuse it a little bit, so um, we'll probably have to correct that a little bit this week. Uh, it seems like you couldn't take your chances and take your time. Why would that be? Was that just players getting too over, over-exaggerating over and thinking too much or something else? Yeah, it was a, it was a very high-tempo game, I thought. Um, it was very frantic throughout, obviously. Our handball game added to that a little bit. So, um, you know, it, it was, you know, pretty, pretty high tempo in that regard. And there was a lot of pressure around the ball carrier. We probably didn't handle it uh, as well as we would have liked. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we, we should have got it done and, and we weren't able to do so. A scoreless second term. That really is what hurt us. A scoreless second term. So with that loss, the Lions move into fourth position on the AFL ladder. Uh, there are only one game inside the eight as we look at it here. Obviously, seven and four right now. Geelong in ninth, six and five. Uh, the Magpies, the Swans, and even the Dockers. Genuine chances of getting themselves inside the eight. This is uh, this is obviously the bye for us. So this is how we head into our bye. Uh, coming off the back of, you know, what's that? Three of the last four, three of the last five games we've won. And, and we're, we're pretty good. Let's have a look at the board and their mid-season review. Um, the board's mid-season review, this is at the buy. The board's mid-season review acknowledges the club is travelling well. However, in order for the season to be granted the success, we still believe you need to improve in order to make the grand final later in the year. Anything less will not only leave the board disappointed, but most importantly, and this is a real big one here, it will disappoint the fans.